guys, welcome to Kitchen Talk with Grana. I'm glad you guys can come up into the kitchen with me for a few minutes. Uh, you guys know what my routine is before we get started into this conversation. I need you to go ahead down there at the bottom of your screen, right on down there. Go ahead and take care of your thumbs up button. Go ahead and share my video with your family, friends, associate, anybody you have on social media. Make sure you share my video with them. And if this is your first time checking out Kitchen Talk with Grandma, make sure you hit that subscribe button at the end of this uh, video and go ahead and become one of my followers, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and jump off into this conversation for today. Okay, with everything that's been going on for the last few weeks with the election and all that, I uh, haven't had a chance to talk about um, this conversation, but I definitely wanted to discuss it with you guys a little bit. I don't know if you guys uh, know, or had seen it or heard about it, but we lost a legend, a gospel legend. I mean, we lost back, uh, I think it was on the 31st of October, we lost bishop, pastor, minister, whatever you, however you want to call him, uh, Ranch Allen. I mean, this man was a powerhouse in the gospel world. I mean, a powerhouse. He had the most unique voice that, I mean, just unique. I mean, no one could compare it to his voice. I love listening to uh, Pastor Allen um, talk, just talking and listen to his services and listen to his songs. He was, his voice was so powerful. You know, um, I when I heard that, I was actually, uh, in my car and I was coming back from somewhere and it came across um, the radio. I was listening to 94.1 and I was like, what did they say? Did they say uh, Ranch Allen? Pastor Ranch Allen has passed away? I was like, wow. So when I got home, of course, I had to go ahead and uh, Google that. But yeah, we lost pa uh, Pastor uh, Ranch Allen and um, he had had some type of medical procedure done and he, um, he passed from that procedure. I guess he didn't recover fully from that. That's what was the cause of his death because I wanted to see, you know, what was the cause of his death, if it had anything to do with the coronavirus or anything like that. But um, apparently it didn't have anything to do with the coronavirus or anything. He had had uh, some, it didn't uh, specify what type of medical procedure he had had, but that's what he passed away from. But, um, you know, anybody that listened to any type of gospel, I mean, you have, have had to have heard him throughout the years as you listen to the gospel. I mean, my number one song, I mean, and I know it's everybody's, is something about the name of Jesus. Oh my God, when I hear that song, I just like, I get so happy inside, I get so happy. I love that song, uh, I Belong to You. It's just his voice, it's his voice just draws you in when he's singing and he gets so into it, you know, he just gets into it. And it just makes you feel so good. It just really does. You know how you can listen to some singers when they when they're singing and how they draw you in and they really just have you right there. He was that type of performer. And being a gospel singer, you know, you have those days that you just need to to be uplifted and you need to listen to something that's gonna brighten your day or make you feel better at that moment. And he's definitely one of my go-to when I need to, um, you know, hear, hear those, those gospel songs that's gonna, you know, make me feel good and, and just, you know, put a smile on my face and everything. So, you know, Mr. Ranch Allen was one of those, one of those, those, those persons that did that, you know, and like I said, I just love his voice. I love that man. You know, I loved his voice. You know, we, we don't really get to, to actually meet these entertainers or these singers or these these athletes or any of that but you know with some of these um entertainers and athletes and different people that's that's out there you know you get to know them through what they do you get to know them through their music or their their actors or their athletes you know you get to know them through their work and you feel like you actually know them you know like this this is my this is my my uncle this is my you know this 
it's just crazy, you know, that you feel that close to them and how it can affect you when, you know, when one of them pass away, you know, they have, they have set that, that uh, good feeling out there for you. You know, they put that experience out there for you to experience and to, you know, bring it into your life, you know, you know, like I said, whether it's through music, through acting, through, through athlete, you know, whatever it is that, that makes you feel good when you hear this person's name or you watch this person or whatever and stuff. And that's the way um, Mr. Ranch Allen made me feel when I listened to his music. I could just sit and listen to him, him sing all day long, you know? And, and of course, like I said, there were several favorite songs of his that I definitely have on my playlist that I would listen to, you know, because I'm always listening to Kirk Franklin um, on Syria Radio. I listen to him all the time and he definitely plays a lot of, of um, Ranch Allen on his on his Syria radio. So I'm, I'm listening to gospel all the time. That's that's more my go-to list than probably anything. If I'm not listening to that, I'm doing old school. But um, I just wanted to talk about Mr. Mr. Ranch Allen. He was like 71 years old. I think he had a birthday coming up either uh, later on in October or sometime in November. He had a birthday coming up and he was married. He had been married to his wife for like 49 years, I believe they had been married. I think her name was Ellen. Ellen Allen was his wife. Um, I didn't see in the in the little bit that I read about him if they had any any kids or anything, any children or anything like that. Uh, you know, when I was reading about him, he started out with his brothers in a group, um, you know, in the Allen's group, singing gospel and everything. And um, like I said, it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's just, um, you know, it just touches your heart when it's someone that you have listened to for years and years and years, you know, and stuff like that happen. You know, I know it's something that we all have to face and we all have to go through when it comes to, you know, death. But like I said, it's just certain people out there, you know, and just like it was with the Kobe and the Whitney Houston and the Michael Jackson and you know, you have these certain people that is legends. They're they're gonna be, they're gonna be there. They're, they made their mark in this world. And Pastor Allen is a legend in the gospel world. He, he has made his mark. I mean, he has did so many songs and he's also, uh, you know, worked with other people. He's worked with Kurt Franklin. He's worked with, I think Snoop Dogg, and he's worked with um, Mariah Carey, and he's worked with, you know, BB and CC Wine, and, and he's worked with so many people across the board. You know, he he's also he had a little little R and B there in his in his gospel. You know, he was he wasn't just pure gospel. You know, he would re, he made it relatable when he sung. He made it, you know, he could bring in all age groups and all culturals and all that he could he could bring everybody in to listen to his music you know he made it relatable for everybody you know and that's that's what I liked about him you can you know it wasn't just you know for this certain group of people so um I just wanted to talk about him for, for a minute there and uh, if in, just in case no one has seen anything about him. And if you never heard his music, Google him and listen to listen to some of his music. You know, like I said, my favorite is gonna be I Belong To You and also uh, something about the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Every time I listen to that one, I just get so happy inside. But Google, you know, Google him and listen to, he has so many, so many good gospel songs. So many, you know, it's really, really good. So, you know, make sure uh, he's someone you have not been aware of, have not uh, had a chance to listen to. You know, take a minute, you know, throughout your day or you have some time and just Google him and just sit back and you would not be, you would not be displeased with any of his music that you hear, okay? Uh, so I just wanna say that, you know, rest in peace to uh, Bishop Rance uh, Allen, you know, uh, condoles to his family, you know, everybody out there that love and support him, uh, you know, just want to put that out there, you know, just put that out there in the world 
and I wanted to, uh, you know, people to know how I felt about him and everything. And then last week we also lost um, another. Um, this was a TV um, personnel person that that was pretty much well known for um, Jeopardy, uh, Mr. Alex uh, Trebek. He lost his life. He had been fighting with cancer. Uh, for over the last year because he announced it on his on Jeopardy before he uh, left Jeopardy and he he actually passed away um, last week so I know everybody has watched Jeopardy is one of the game shows that's been around for years and years and years so I know everybody has watched that I know everybody knows Alex Trebek you know, he asked them questions. You, he asked the questions and you gotta answer the question with in the form of a question and all of that. So I think he did that show for over 30 some years or something like that. But one point in time, I think we all may have caught, caught a episode of Jeopardy here or there, you know. So he did pass away. I just wanna say rest in peace to him, Mr. Uh, Alex Trebek. You know, he had been out there really talking about um, uh, I think it was prostate cancer that he had also, and he had gotten very vocal about that once he found out. And I think well, by the time he found out about his also, it was like at stage four. But I know he worked up to like the last, I think up to like just last year and everything, but he, um, he lost his life to that. He lost that battle last week also. So um, rest in peace to him also. I mean, we were constantly losing people every day with this coronavirus and everything. And of course, I, you know, I, I want to, you know, I definitely feel for all those families also. But, you know, like I said, when it comes to different TV uh, people, uh, you know, these people in the different uh, entertainment world, you know, we, we, t we tend to get close to them because of our different type of entertainment that we need sometimes just to get us through the day. You know, whether it be the game shows that Alice Trebek uh, hosted, whether it be gospel music that uh, Pastor Allen uh, gave us and he made and wrote and produced and all this, whatever it takes to get us through the day, that's how we get to, to know these people and become close to these people through our hearts by listening to them or, or experiencing the work that they put out there for us for us for entertainment, okay? All right, guys, just want to throw that little, little pits out there to you guys. I hope everybody's having a great day today. Guys, make sure you're being safe. Make sure you're wearing your mask. You know, if you got to go out, you know, practice your social distance and just be kind to everybody because this life is so short. It is so short. Just be kind to everybody you come in contact with. Have a good one. I'm going to catch you guys next time around.